Mm-hmm. So the question was, uh, has managing a budget made us better designers? And I, I, I'll speak to that real quick. I think it kind of helps and it hurts. There's there's some circumstances where, uh, where I think it kind of gets in the way. Like when you're when you're ideating, you want to throw as many ideas at a problem as you can, and some of them are going to be bad, and some of them are going to be good, and some of the bad ones will combine to make a good one. Um, and if you're like overly conscious about how much something's going to cost or how logical it is, you can end up missing out on a lot of good ideas. I feel. So that's part of the value I feel like we bring to the table here is we don't really understand price perfectly and we don't really understand what is logical. So when we bring our solutions to a problem and we come into a design meeting, a lot of the times, at least personally, I feel like a lot of the times I'll have some kind of silly ideas and then maybe there's like a grain of truth to it. Maybe there's something good deep in there that that Mike or Luke can pull out and say, oh, actually, maybe there is a reasonable way to do this dumb thing you've suggested. But I feel like, at least for me, maybe it's something that uh, a better designer wouldn't have come up with in the first place. 